गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव डिस्कशन अबाउट क्लाउ एंड मेंथॉल स्टार्टिंग मेंथा एंड क्लाउ there are many other drugs also we have to discuss uh, in the coming classes today we are have taken two volatile oil drugs crude drugs because last class we have discussed about general volatile oil and uh, regarding its isolation and uh, what are the different techniques and uh, we even we had a small discussion about its chemistry behind and what is the constituents uh, which is basically present in all volatile oils and the various products available in market also and their definitions which we have seen so it is necessary for the student always to have a back study or a background of any classes which have been completed and then you have to come to the class so that it will be useful for you to listen what is the teacher is teaching anyhow i hope you remember because we did not take long time only two days back i just gave uh, the lecture regarding general volatile oils so we had a discussion about mainly the three types of isolations like direct that means expression method by mechanical means and then steam distillation very commonly what we are doing in our places and then and forage technique which oriented which is oriented or which is started from french videos which we have seen and you have to remember that in that we are just now today we are going to see about mentha and clau when we talk about this mentha it's a common drug which we are using in our home even in our garden and also in your backyard and even some of them in the in the in the house they used to keep in a small pot and they used to use these mint leaves and even some of them they have a chewing of mint leaves every time and to get digestion and also to relieve from various peptic ulcers can also be cured by means of mentha leaves and mentha leaves are very commonly we are using in in biryanis and vegetarian non vegetarian everywhere we used to use this mentha leaves and it has more medicinal value even nowadays people used to soak them in the water in the night in the morning early morning they used to drink them as a a early morning drink so it is of very important uh, drug commonly which is used so even if we are saying that is peppermint peppermint oil that is the mentha preparata we used to say peppermint peppermint oil there is many many synonyms are there for mentha so you can see what is the definition of botanical source or biological source peppermint is a dried leaf of mentha preparata labiate family labiate and it should contain at least 1.2 percentage volatile oil what is its geographical source what is the geographical source in geographical source europe and america but we have here also that is they are the scientist when they identify and they says that pattern and that's why europe america and you can see pimenta preparata there are many varieties are there in mentha so mentha preparata even in india and sri lanka 
China also it's commonly cultivated and grown and if you see macroscopical features the macroscopical features by means of uh, an external character a macroscopy when you see all mint <coughs> have a square stem if you see the stem you see this picture which I shown stem it is square stem not round square stem and a creeping rhizo black mint which is most commonly cultivated variety in England has purple stem and dark green petiolate petiolate you can see the petiolate that sharp petiolate leaves tinct with purple leaf blades the sides the leaf blades are three to nine centimeter long with a grooved with a grooved petiolate up to one centimeter long one centimeter because it's very common leaf which you might have used in your in the preparation in your kitchen and daily which we have seen this mint leaves pinnate venation venation the veins which is seen in the leaf are pinnate glandular trichomes bright yellow point hand lens when you sing you will get a bright yellow points can be observed when you use lens that's why in the bracket we are shown by using hand lens even by means of decision microscope it is possible for you to watch this but lens in decision microscope it's only of five uh, x will be there or 3x will be there but if you see magnification by lens you can have little more higher up to 20 25 magnification x you can see the bright yellow points can be seen that's what it is written there and small purple flower appearing in late summer which you can see in the picture <coughs> Microscopic features, diacetic stomata. We have seen this even before in digitalis. I told it is an animocytic stomata. So stomata, which is present in the leaf, have different types. Here I have just made it to, to remember your basic botany knowledge, which you have studied in the smaller classes, how to be revised by means of seeing this picture. You can see an animocytic type of stomata. You can see the stomata cell, how the animocytic cells there is they are multi cells anisocytic anisocytic you can see three cells how they are anisocytic diacytic they are diagonal to the pore of the so here where, which you can see they are having what type of stomata diacytic that means the stomata which is diagonal the other cells are diagonal to the stomata if it is parallel parasitic when you come to senna you can see parasitic type of stomata para that is parasitic stomata once more we have written very clearly how they are parallel cells even it can be seen and actinocytic multi cells like a like a star like graminous stomata tetra four tetracytic stomata also can be seen so two types of glandular trichomes one with a unicellular head head will be unicellular and the multi two three cells in the trichomes type also available calcium oxalate is totally absent in this drug so you have to remember calcium oxalate crystals even in microscopic character also this calcium oxalate crystals may not be seen because in macro microscopy we have given clearly it is not present oleum menthe oil of peppermint is obtained from mentha preparata via steam distillation using the flower tops 
flowering tops understand flowering tops not flower tops flowering tops oil should contain at least 44 percentage menthol 15 to 32 percentage uh, of ma and men menthol and uh, you can see in, in 44 percentage and menthol 4.5 to 10 percentage and me me menthyl acetate also should be present there about this 10 maximum of 10 percentage so you can see that menthol and menthol and menthyl acetate these all are the main components which is present in this peppermint oil or mentha preparator oil which is prepared from this species and production of oil how you are going to produce because you know pharmacist we have to know about not only the name and the botanical name and its constituents uses but you should know how to isolate them and how to make the product and to come bring to the market because you know the people are now started completely depending on the natural sources of drugs which is only possibility for various ailments in european countries and in america they are 80 percentage of the people are depending on herbal drugs alternative medicines they are not going in the synthetic allopathic treatments only for emergency they are depending on this allopathy treatment so you know that the importance of nature importance of the gift of the god what he has given for us to use the natural plant sources and animals and minerals which are having more drug action therapeutic action and various preparations are available nowadays for various ailments can be treated very effectively very strongly they, they are giving good result without any type of side effect so production of mentha oil or peppermint oil the plants are dried in air <coughs> sun drying causes the loss of active principle that is volatile oil which you are in interested to isolate may be evaporated by sun drying the air dry material is kept in iron or steel vessel which has a false perforated bottom down there will be a small small holes through which the steam will be passed through last class also we have seen how the steam distillation they are doing they will pass lavender you have seen the lavender how they will produce the steam will be passed through the bottom of the vessel bottom of the steel vessel bottom of the vessel so that it will pass through the material which you kept in the in the steel vessel and then it will be the volatile oil will be taken by the steam by the water vapor hot water vapor and then it will be condensed in a cooler condensed in a condenser and it will come down drips water which contains the volatile oil and water Water and so that when you keep for some time it will get separated oil will be separated separately and the water will also will be used as a second grade it can also be sold you have remember that last class we have seen the same thing which we are just dealing specific for mentha preparata the steam under pressure is passed through the drug for about two three to four hours for complete distillation near about 80 percentage of the oil is distilled off in the first half of distillation the medicinally important menthol distilled out in the later half of distillation the menthol oil is collected and is separated vessel where it is decanted and filtered or separation techniques can also be used the average yield of oil is approximately 0.1 to 1 percentage volume by weight you just see that very very less do you think that 1 kg if you are using you will get 0.5 to 1 ml of oil 
that's the percentage which we are discussing so so you see the cost the cost of the oils are very very high uh, because the production cost and the quantity which is obtained by means of this distillation procedure will be very minimum quantity that is why the price is high so now you see this video how they are using do in our in india north india uh, there are plants which is they are how they are distilling this menta preparata you see the trucks are carrying menta preparata which should not be dried in the direct sunlight in air dried they are air dried leaves with these flowering tops have been brought the menta preparata and this is the chamber which you can see the steel chamber which is shown for you with many locks you can see many locks are there to put the air dried material which is in the trucks which is lying there it will be dumped inside and it will be put lock by means of the lock key which is shown because you need as i told the quantity which is obtained the product the yield is very less it is only 0.5 to 1 percentage so you see and they have to dump a huge amount in there is why they big this is the furnace where they are using heat to produce steam because the steam is produced by from the water which they are boiling by the furnace and it is brought by pipes not in the top down you can see this the top pipe is to take the volatile oil down you see this now they are showing in the video down there is a pipe which is going in the bottom of the uh, steel chamber and the up there is another tube which comes to the uh, cool refrigeration cool uh, water and it is that is the system of condenser cooling that vapor and you see condensed and you are getting water and the volatile oil water and the peppermint oil <clears throat> they are together it is collected in the collecting chamber and you can see this uh, they are showing you in a glass bottle when you collect within few seconds you will separate you see that separated the top you can see the peppermint oil and down you can see the water with the oil mixed emulsion so they are not throwing that water also water will be used as an peppermint water and the oil will be sold as a pure oil absolute oil and it can be even purified and you can separated by means of fractional distillation can be used to separate pure oil and it can be sold in that sold it can be sold so now you see <coughs> here and constituents of oleum menthe or menta preparata oleum menthe the species what all the basic constituents which is present in them we should know the chemistry background what is present in the peppermint oil or the drug what is the main constituents what is its use and identification test these all are important for in pharmacognosy and in pharmacy so you see menthol menthone isomenthone menthyl acetate lemonine is also present cineol is also present in the oil leaf and menthofuran five membered ring furan menthofuran is also present and polygon is also a constituent which is present and cineol is also present and jasmine is also present oil composition greatly influence the genetic factors of seasonal variation so when you are having according to the season sometimes in oil uh, quantity of oil as well as the composition also vary according to the season uh, how you are collecting the leaves and how you are drying it that is also very important as we told direct sunlight when you dry even you will lose the volatile principles in the oil 
and you see the structure very very important for pharmacist to write always constituent with the structure menthone you have to remember menthone it is an l menthone that is why it is carrying a chiral carbon atom you see that is ch3 in the top which i have mentioned the substituent is above the plane and also it has its own rotation optical rotation that is why l menthone and it is a lactone ring uh, with a six member and there is a propane is also there isopropane which is in the para position and the same what is menthol instead of double bond o instead of double bond o ketone you are it is alcohol then it is menthol ol otherwise one and jasmanone is also you can see jasmanone is a pentane group or pentene group which is attached to the five member ring with a double bond o jasmine and you see pelagone is six member a ketone group which is also having a isopropyl group which is attached not in the para position in the meta position you can see and you can see menthafurone is also the same thing same structure from the pelagone but only they is cyclized into an lactone ring the double bond o is get cyclized and there is dehydrogenation takes place like that when you study a structure you have to make some chemistry background and you have to study how the structure can be remembered you see pelagone and menthofuran you can just remember pelagone is a double bond o six member ring structure with one isopropane a double bond and this isopropane when double bond o they cyclized and gives a five member ring that is why furan ring so the furan ring is formed so it is called menthofuran so like that you can remember the structure and you can write very clearly without any type of confusion when you are writing this type of structures what is this all are they all are volatile oil constituents they all are terpenes specifically they have two isoprene units that's why they are monoterpenes and they are cyclic compounds so these type of things you have to remember what we have discussed in the previous classes should always it should come in your mind so you will never forget what is terpenes what is monoterpenes what is cyclic compounds this is monoterpenes cyclic monoterpenes which is present in menta preparata preparement oil so this type of words when you remember you can do very easily this is a natural uh, subject which is practical subject which is a common subject which you are daily to daily we are using this so don't make it tough by means of thinking that subject this is also is no it's a very simple once you make it simple to read and it will become very simple listen and make it simple for any preparation of studies chemical test for menta preparata take few ml of oil suppose if they are giving to identify find out whether it is peppermint oil or it is castor oil or it is sesame oil what is the oil it is a fixed oil or volatile oil just and if you know that you have to find out whether it is peppermint oil or not understand yes or no limit test if you like limit test yes or no so take few ml of oil and mixed with the 5 ml of nitric acid solution simply if they say nitric acid then you can add nitric acid but they said nitric acid solution so what is nitric acid solution so that should be something else so you see the bracket i have made the solution should be made by adding 1 ml of nitric acid into 100 ml of glacial acetic acid so the nitric acid solution 5 ml means there is glacial acetic acid is also present with along with the nitric acid understand an organic acid is present with an mineral acid so that is 300 ml you prepare and that from that you add 5 ml to the oil and heat the solution on a water bath for 5 to 10 minutes you have to read 
write hints and then you have to remember this type of chemical test then only you can remember the liquid develops bluish color which gets deep in color upon more heating and showing copper color copper means bluish copper you may be knowing copper colored fluorescence copper sulfate image is copper colored fluorescence and after few minutes it turns golden yellow and then afterwards it will becomes golden yellow understand it becomes golden yellow so that makes you to identify this is peppermint oil what is the use of this peppermint oil or menta leaf or menta preparator uh, oil and what is the drug is applied for what is its therapeutic application in the pharmacy if you want to see that is it reduce spasm pain and pain causes by endoscopy specifically understand gastrointestinal tract problems pain in migraine headache also in headache also can be used menta preparator to treat nausea nausea is common travel while tra nausea to treat bad breath due to ulceration bad breath bad smell which comes and so that it's good for chewing it's good for chewing this leaf and uh, treat bad breath and reduce dental plague dental plague makes bad smell from the mouth so that also can be treated by means of this menta preparator so what a beautiful leaf what an amazing leaf which is very commonly available in our home so you see azwin reduce inflammation that is azwin we are saying azwin just we have given the name azulin sometimes it is also synonym which is called azulin for this menta reduces inflammation and helps to heal ulcer ulcer and your git <coughs> and it reflects muscle of git reflexes muscle in the git and relieves colon spasm colon spasm is very very painful the lower abdominal region pain due to colon spasm can be relieved by means of this specifically about this leaf chewing is very good most of them they have a habit of chewing this leaf taking from their home they have in their pot in their home most of them i know even you, your mother if you ask how great product it is have an amazing drug it is you can use it daily use menthol kill bacteria and parasites even it's good for small children also even if you give they have they will get parasites small small worms biting even though if you give deworming tablets and because children used to play in the soil and they used to play they used to touch many things so you see how the nature how god have created the nature for the human being and how he has blessed us by means of giving all this glorious plants and varieties of drugs and the menta is a beautiful beautiful drug wonderful drug for various ailments what is this mechanism of action because we are going in small detail not i am not going for detail giving about pharmacological mechanism of action just simple menta acts on calcium channel blocker you might have studied in your ans you might have studied in your calcium channel blocker in your hypertensive drugs and also you might have studied nifedipine you might have heard about nifedipine eh they are calcium channel blockers and they are used even for uh, atrium fibrillate fibrillation and you might have studied many things it has been used for many type of rhythmic changes in your cardiac arrhythmias it can be used so you see menthol acts as a calcium channel blocker it acts it affects the smooth muscle of vessels git or neuron cells and even heart is good for heart 
also muscles. It blocks the calcium channel and prevents the influx of calcium channel and leads to the relaxation of the smooth muscles. How? You see? Simple. We are just sometimes in biryani, some people they don't like, they'll throw it off. Curry leaves, these leaves when they see. But you see? How much they have importance when you are taking. Our ancestors have prepared these leaves. They have taken these leaves and added for many. When you are taking heavy foods with fats and oil, they used to add this menta preparator to subsidize all your problems and to bring you normal. So, just think that how nature is helping us, how God is glorious to give us these things are to be used. Those Simply, there are many preparations, but I have taken only small simple doses. As infusion, take 2 to 6 grams of peppermint leaves in a hot water and cover for 10 minutes. Heat it. Use twice a day. Capsule means take 0.6 ml of peppermint oil, pint into, into 2 3 doses of 0.2 ml per day. In headache, 10 percentage peppermint oil in ethanol solution is applied across the forehead, across the forehead, repeated after 15 to 30 minutes. You may feel that it is a simple dose which I am saying, but it is having more effect. When you get headache, then you will know how much you are suffering. Common cold is also very irritating. You know, very simple treatment we know, but we will go for running here and there and we will suffer by means of drugs and their complications and adverse action makes the person to be worst in every type of various other ailments and other diseases will come. For a common cold, a simple example, I will say somebody is having common cold, actually what you have to do is boiled water and just bring the vapor near to the nose and once your nose inside the vapor goes inside and once the nose becomes one degree higher than your body temperature is gone patience is needed you should not go and keep your nose inside the hot water it will burn but only the vapor should go slowly inside and once the temperature increases more than your body temperature one degree one degree. Immediately the virus which is present in the um, nose will die and you will be relieved. 100% sure you can see that anywhere. This is the least and the best treatment because it is no cost, free of cost. So people doesn't like that. Even throat infection, if there is a throat infection, if there is something throat infection due to the virus, keep boiled water, gargle, or keep the, make the vapors to go inside and two, three times you gargle so that when the throat becomes one degree temperature more than your body temperature, one degree, the virus will die. The virus will completely removed. It's a free treatment, but people doesn't prefer because it's free. They need immediately throat paint, gargling, and various drugs and antibiotics, seven days and afterwards treatment and money spending, traveling from one place, the doctor will get appointment, these all things, then they will be satisfied. So, you see, nature is having many solutions uh, by giving many drugs. Now, we are coming to an important cloud, which is very, very common in our high range area, especially where we are living, most of us are, most of you, I am in a hot area, but anyhow, most of our students are in high range, cool price, BRT, coffee, cultivation, and even cloud also can have a, a very good climatic condition. It will support even cloud also in some places. And you see definition, clouds are the dried flower buds, flower buds, it's used flower buds, there we are used leaf here flower buds of size gm size gm 
aromaticum on very commonly previously we all I have given a bracket even in the smaller classes you might have studied or in the common book there is a Eugenia caryophyllis is a species name it can be called as Eugenia caryophyllis if you are not finding difficult to write that is Syzygium aromaticum you can say Eugenia caryophyllis Eugenia, Eugenia because eugenol is present that is why it is Eugenia caryophyllis Eugenia caryophyllis the name itself it shows the caryophyllis the color and as well as the constituents present in the cloud family Myrtaceae family Myrtaceae once applies you have to go on telling then only it will come in your word and you can write in the examination time and you can express with others also Eugenia caryophyllis Eugenia caryophyllis family Myrtaceae family Myrtaceae geographical source it is native from the Moluca islands and traditionally cultivated in Tanzania Madagascar Indonesia Sri Lanka India mainly in Nilgiris Hills Kanyakumari Kotem and the Koilon Hills of Kerala very 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 commonly they are cultivated and they are having more value because years together they can be stored once they are drying for three days plucking from the trees and collecting it can be stored and you can keep it and you can give for higher prices it can be sold like gold the price will not come down it's always having demand because various medicinal uses as well as everywhere in your food products also you can use they are using cloud cloud oil is also having more value understand so that's why we have to think about this cloud very important drug cultivation and collection the deep rich loamy soil is good for cloud cultivation but it can also grow in sandy loamy and laterite soil laterite soil loamy soil it favors warm humid climate humid climate with annual rainfall in range of 150 to 250 centimeter it goes well at an altitude of 900 meters from the sea level the seeds are sown in August to October for cultivation purpose the seeds are sown in nurseries bed at distance of 10 centimeter the seeds germinate in four or five weeks four or five weeks and then seedlings are transplanted to the pots after six months after six months these seedlings are kept in the pot for nearly about 12 months nearly one year then they are transferred to the open field the seed is provided in the initial stage because the plant cannot bear the full sunshine it's not it is not preferred sunlight directly falling to the plant never allow them to grow it can also be cultivated along with other plants like areca nut, coconut and nutmeg can be planted in between you can keep clove plantation can also be given or can also be kept in the field the suitable fertilizers like ammonia sulfate but in the plant in your growing in the home we used to coca coca powder coca beets coca beets available that can also be used as a manure for the seedlings to develop fertilizers like ammonium sulfate superphosphate ammonium superphosphate potassium etc are provided to the plants in two doses the first dose should be given in may or june 
and the second dose in October. The plants start bearing after 7 to 8 years. 7 to 8 years. And giving abundant yield per acre after 15 to 20 years of growth. Bearing. So, how far is a beautiful plant which can be cultivated? Generally, the cloud plant produces about 3 to 4 kg of drug per year. Okay, a plant. It's a normal statistic data, but more is there, less is there. The cloud buds are hand picked, it is picked by hand or by beating by bamboo, not by hard stick, by bamboo stick. Sometimes platform ladders can be used because the plant may grow taller. Also used in case of tall trees. And the collection starts when cloud buds changes its color from green to light pink. That is a good way of plucking the flowers. Because fully matured is not good. So, flower buds. That is why they are called flower buds. The cloud are sun dried and kept free from foreign matter. Sun dried means slightly, not direct sunlight. Sun slightly, sun should not, you should see that the sun is not very heavy. Sun dried after plucking, <coughs> even the color will change into darker color. Lighter color green, the light pink and then it will become brown and it will become dark brown in color. And after drying the color of the cloud changes to become crimson, crimson or brownish black. Dark brown I told. Crimson red we used to say like that. Crimson brown or brownish black color. This is the first it will be green in color. But light pink you can see the light pinkish green color you can see this video and so that you will have some idea about the harvest of the see uh, this is the person even it is a tall plant that is why he is climbing and plucking uh, the flower buds by means of hand he is just plucking, collecting them, the traditional bag or traditional cloth which he is having. The laborers will collect them and they will bring to the place where they want to dry. And collecting, see, and then it can be removed. See, the buds alone should be removed from the stock. See how... It is a color which we told the pinkish color, slight greenish pink color and they are removing the flower buds and in an, in an, it is in an, in an, in a, in a plate that means it is a leaf plate in that and then we can use mat. They are using some mat, usually the mat even traditional mat will be very much good but here in the video they are showing some uh, this is so uh, this is the synthetic mat but we can use the traditional mat also and it will be good for using and spread it it should be spread and the color will change after a one day the color you see one day sunlight light sunlight you see the color is slightly brownish and next day, three, three days, you can see how, after three days, crimson brown or brownish black. How the buds are showing in the hypanthium. See, it's a beautiful and it was. And you can see when you put it in the uh, water, if it is having, see, and this is one, uh, how you can cultivate in the home. You can try this. Take the cloud, the dried cloud how to germinate, how to cultivate in the home. I have given this video just to make the student to cultivate in your home. Please try. Please do it today. Put it in the water for three days. See that the cloud is 
it is not drowned, it is just standing erect. That means it has cloud oil. It is the original cloud. If it is floating, oil is not there. It should go, it should straightly. Take the small plastic cup and keep soil with coca. You add a coca as a manure. Understand? You cannot, no need to go for the manure which I told. You can just coca. And uh, just mix it with the soil, good soil nearby our home. And make soft, and add coca and make it soft. See, and you keep the flower bud erect. Flower bud, that is a hypanthium. You see that she is showing straight. The bud of the top should be straight not like this straight ah see straight keep it inside straight keep it inside you keep it many at least minimum six to seven or eight even ten you can keep in a cup you see take a cup plastic cup and you just do it in this way and you can keep more than seven or six flower bud erected position the bud the flower bud should be in the top and hypanthium just press it down and keep it inside the soil the soil you are using what is that coca powder can be mixed as a manure it is good it will be easily it will germinate so this is just to show you even in the home you can try uh, to make small infant plant and then after one year you can plant it in the ground and you can have a good tree in your home see water every two times you water morning early morning and in the afternoon or in the evening time once more you have to water and regularly two times watering and you see after a month, one month you have to wait. You see, she will show you one month. This is after a month. Within a month, after a month you are getting the small plant have come out. The leaf you see, tender leaves. The shapes are different. When it becomes two months, she will show another plant. After two months, the leaf structure is slightly changed. This is one month. One month you will get this type of development of cloud. And she will show you the same plant after two months. She has kept one more plant one month before. She got it uh, in another part. She will bring and she will say the leaf structure is slightly different. See that is two months. That is after two months. The plant leaves are little more darker and they becomes like that. And we have seen that this will get a bundle once it becomes flowering. Even you can keep it for 12 months and don't keep it the plant directly sunlight. As we have discussed before, don't keep these plants direct sunlight. They And keep it in a cool place only. You have to keep them in a cool place humid place and add coca as a manure it will helpful for the plant to grow and as we have discussed before after 12 months you can plant it in the ground and you will get within 6 to 7 years you will get a very good yield see 4 to 6 months you see flower on the plant four to six months you will get flower on the plant but that means it is not going to give you the yield what I said it has to become a plant tree so water every time two times a day as we have discussed as I told before two times morning and afternoon or in the evening add coca peat coca peat is a powder which is available coca peat PAT, coca peat powder is a very good every 15 days you can add 
It's a very good manure for the growth of this plant when it is in infant stage. Once you are planting in the ground, you can go for adding the ammonium phosphate, potassium, all these things in two forms what we have discussed before and you can cultivate them and so that within six years you will get a very good product which can be collected. So, see now we are coming to the macroscopical characters macroscopical characters of the cloud. Color is crimson red to brown. Odor characteristic or aromatic odor. Taste is aromatic or pungent. And the length you see the cloud 10 to 18 millimeter. Width is 3 to 4 millimeter. And thickness is 2 millimeter. Shape, flower bed is nail shaped. Hypanthium, below that bud, hypanthium, quad, that is quadrangular, like a square, quadrangular, length 10 to 12 millimeter, into diameter 2 to 3 millimeter, head, globrous head, head, you can see the picture, globrous. Hypanthium corresponds to the inferior ovary. When you take a section, you can see the over ovules, ovary. And a globrous head surrounded by four diverts, four. That is, you can see the sepals, sepals. You can see the sepals. Petals are in the flower in the top. Sepals are calyx. They are called as calyx. You see, refer to your botany sepal lobe consisting of four imbricated petals petals imbricated petals in the top wrapped numerous incurved stamens will be their stamens as we know stamens are also present the pulverized powder shows when you powder the cloud and when you observe in microscope or even the, in the decision microscope shows the presence of large secretory cavities because volatile oil secretory cavities calcium oxalate crystals pollen grains fibers with thick lignified punctate walls lignified means lignin will be present when you add fluorogrucinol you will get pink color we have discussed every time i used to say that when you are staining fluorogrucinol it will react with the lignin which is present in the cells and it will give pink color for xylem phloem and here also there are lignified punctate cell what do you mean by punctate punctate means having mark with minute spots which can be seen in these particular cells as an identification and microscopy you see the picture microscopy when you take above the hypanthium the cloud above the hypanthium the bud the, the calyx below the calyx that is the calyx the four calyx below the calyx immediately you have to cut down hypanthium it is not uh, properly you have to uh, there you have to make a cut and you will see the structure in this form epidermis oil glands Vascular bundle with xylem and phloem, lignified cells. In center, colon chyma cells can be seen. Between that, you can see aran chyma cells, which are aran chyma is a special character which is seen only in the cloud. Most of the time, you can see it's an identification cells in microscopy. Cortex cells, which contain oil glands, vascular bundle, pericyclic fibers, all are seen in the cortex region. So, you see. Again in the 45X diagram, cuticle, thick cuticle, which gives the brown color, which gives the dark color, which gives the dark color which you are observing, crimson brownish black color. That's what we have seen, the external cuticle. And there is an epidermis. And below the epidermis, you can see the oil glands, which contain the volatile oil, 
and below that you can see saffride what do you mean by saffride saffride saffrophytes saffrophytes you can see are saffrophytes what do you mean by calcium oxalate crystals when they are seen as a beautiful cluster of star like appearance they are called saffrophytes that is calcium oxalate crystals heavy cuticle epidermis and numerous oil cells they are called as siso lysogenous oil cells this point you have to remember what type of oil cells is present in cloud then you have to write that siso lysogenous oil cells because they are oil cells which will get lysis and the oil will be pierced out to the other cells that is siso lyso lyso lysis lysogenous lysogenous oil cells are present in cloud calcium oxalate crystals cluster of crystals prisms stomata is also present in this flower epidermal area epidermis of sepals epidermis of sepals that is calyx area four sepals in that you can see stomata 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 are present in the sepals calyx in the macroscopy which we told four calyx four sepals in that epidermis you can see stomata in the flower buds of cloud starch fruit mother clouds developed and lignified sclerites are also present and erenchyma cells are seen very clearly in the picture erenchyma loosely arranged you can when you take a section in the lab you will identify this very clearly interesting structure you can be seen in cloud calcium oxalate crystals are present as saffrophytes saffrophytes are a beautiful crystal aggregates which has star like appearance in the microscopy that is calcium oxalate crystals that you have to remember so once you listen and once you see this picture that is sufficient for you to remember about cloud and you can write in your exam i am damn sure if you listen and if you draw once and see by pencil don't draw any diagram by pen in pharmacognosy it will irritate the teacher and teacher will not give you any mark use pencil use pencil don't use pen use pencil shared by pencil very important in botany and pharmacognosy this is just a picture to show you once again to remind you epidermis oil cells vascular bundle colon chyma cells aran chyma cells and cortex in the 10x region when it 10x focus when you go for 45x and seeing that the the same section in a cross area of a ts if you see the same thing cuticle epidermis oil cells and saffrophytes vascular bundles pericyclic fibers with lignified pink color can be seen and aran chyma cells loosely arranged and in the center part of the hypanthium you can see very clearly the colon chyma cells can also be seen and see chemical constituents it contains eugenol what is the name of what is the botanical name i told you out remember eugenia caryophyllus eugenia caryophyllus eugenia caryophyllus eugenol eugenol so eugenia caryophyllus family myrtaceae myrtaceae like that you out remember so eugenol 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 what is the structure of eugenol it has an oh it has an oh ch3 it has an propene ch2 ch double bond ch2 propene in the para position so phenolic group in the para position of propene with a methoxy group in the meta position it is ug known and botanical name of cloud botanical name of the cloud what is the botanical name eugenia cryophyllus family myrtaceae myrtaceae chemical constituents 14 to 21 percentage volatile oil mainly eugenol iso eugenol cytosterol stigmosterol camphysterol and also it contains tannins 
triterpenes, acids, esters and glycosides are also present in them. So, this is the main constituents which is present in cloud. Properties of cloud oil, color, cloud oil is colorless to pale yellow. Specific gravity 1.038 to 1.06. Refractive index, oil refractive index 1.527 to 1.535. By means of Abbey's refractometer, you can find out. It's an experiment for you to find out oil refractive index, to find out the specific gravity of the oil, to find out the ash, the acid value, ester value. These all are the experiments which have to be done by a pharmacognosist and also the student in the degree level. It is needed for you to do in the experiments. As we are in, not in the lab, we are unable to do that. But it's necessary. You might have, you should have done in the last semester itself. Boiling point, 250 degrees centigrade. It should be stored in proper condition because it becomes dark and thick on storage. Chemical test, needle shaped crystals are seen when section of the cloud is treated with strong sodium, not sodium, potassium hydroxide solution. It's a chemical test, identification test for cloud. Uses of cloud. Cloud basis phytomedicines. Cloud based, not basis, based phytomedicines are used locally. Treat minor wounds after cleansing as an analgesic headache, toothache, as an analgesic in deep disease of mouth, pharynx are both in the form of lozenges. What is the lozenges? Lozenges, stepsils, halls, wicks. You have many lozenges available. In mouthwash for oral hygiene. Internally it is used for the treatment of symptoms of gastrointestinal disturbance like epigastric blotting. Epigastric blotting. Difficulty. In evacuating the bowel, blotting, somewhere, getting stomach pain, gastric pain, and the gastric dis disturbance. Understand? Improper digestion, flatulence can be given. And in Germany, cloud based products are used mouthwashes for swelling of mouth and throat. In Indonesia, it is consumed as a cigarette, that means critic cigarettes, it can be even they are using it in Indonesia. What are the different adulterants for cloud? Sometimes they used to adulterate for money because it's costly. So, exalt, ex, exhausted cloud, that means the oil is removed, that cloud can also be added, but how the characters can be identified by the pharmacist, the Oil will not be there, oil free or contain very less amount of oil, darker in color, shrinked, very shrinked, but it's available in the market, you can see it's, it's already the oil is removed or it is, it is dried in the sunlight and oil is completely evaporated. They simply want to make money, they are coming and selling it, floats under water. When you put in the water, it floats. I showed in the video, you have to put it should dip. And only the head should be in the top, other should be in the inside the water. Otherwise, it doesn't have any oil, it will float. Cloud stocks also sometimes they are adding as an adulterant to get the weight. So, generally used an adulterant of the powder cloud, ash value will be very high. You can find out by means of ash value. Once if you see the ash value, you can find out whether it is pure cloud or it is added with the stock, cloud stock, cow stocks without removing, drying and adding in the powder. Smell will be there. Fiber content will be also will be high because the stem will be there, stem part will be there. So fiber content you can by microscopy you can find out fiber content will be there with the powder we can find out. A pharmacist will be easily find out it is a mixing, it's not pure. Calcium oxalate crystals will be present, obtain three five percentage of the oil contains very less five percentage. And there is bone cloud, 
blown cloud also sometimes expanded flower of cloud tree they are blown cloud fallen which is not having any volatile oil stamen free contains less volatile oil and mother cloud also sometimes it is not having volatile oil dark brown in color oval in shape slight aromatic starchy containing less volatile oil so once you have volatile oil strongly then only you will have this type of drugs is usable understand so that is why volatile oil principle is the main one so only two drugs we have seen mentha and cloud so thank you for attending very good thank you have a great day read it and answer my mcq from the last class it will be uploaded in your google classroom answer it read it always this will be asked in the next class so whenever i am giving some classes please try to read try to listen if your internet is not working try to listen in the youtube and then you just hard copy note it down and keep it aside that's enough for your exam it will be more than sufficient i feel you will score good marks forget about this subject concentrate in other subject this subject regularly when the lecture is over read keep your material ready that's enough understand you can make yourself comfortable by means of reading thank you all the best have a great day